I think he will go, yes, I think he will, uh, he has decided to make such a move and he will go for it unless, this is important, unless the United States can persuade him not to go there. But that's not going to happen unless he is able to get some kind of significant concession from Israel. My feeling is that if Israel is to be persuaded by the United States to resume the negotiations, and begin with something rather significant, for example, establishing borders first, maybe even making the concession on freezing the, the construction of a new housing, new settlement. Mahmoud Abbas need to go back to the Palestinian and show that he has gained something in order for him to change course and sit down again with Israel and negotiate. But I also think, if I were to advise the United States what to do, is that tell them not to make big deal out of it, not to go through a big funfair about resuming the negotiation and like, attracting too much attention to what's going on. Do so quietly. Talk to the people quietly. Persuade them that they, that they know that there is no other option. And I think, ironically, really ironically, this last uh, conflagration, that has exacted so much pain and agony on both sides, may well provide a, a new beginning. But then you're going to have leadership with vision to take advantage of such a new situation. Well, you know, I have always maintained that uh, the Israeli political system is dysfunctional. What you have is a coalition government, and within this government, there's many, you know, from the right of center, particularly Bennett and Lieberman, who have their own ambitions to become prime minister. And they want to show their muscles, so to speak. But I think they are foolish at best. To go all the way in Gaza and to reoccupy it would cost Israel a huge amount of not just money, money but certainly in blood as well. And then what? Israel would have to be taking care of nearly 1,800,000 Palestinians. It will have to introduce tens of thousands of Israeli soldiers. And there's absolutely no win situation. And then, after all being said and done, Israel still will have to evacuate Gaza once again. So there would have been no purpose. But beyond that, even if Israel were to kill every single Hamas leader, it will merely spread the seeds for the emergence of a new generation of Palestinians who are going to be, are going to be even more extremists than Hamas uh, itself in Gaza. And so those the ministers who have been advocating much harsher measures against the Palestinians in Gaza, they don't really grasp with the reality on the ground and, and um, basically we're trying just to make a noise uh, to, to, to attract more political attention.